Hi everybody, Dan here with No Games for Old Men. Welcome back to Shogunners. We have just started the industrial zone spotted the trap in time. Section. Last episode we did our first little foray. Uh, got torched by that fire hydrant <laughs> looking flamethrower trap over there. And then uh, did a puzzle and did the first optional tactical arena. The road to the final challenge of the episode is hidden behind this impassable gate. There must be a way through it, but how? For once, couldn't they just let us go straight to where we're headed with no detours? Hey, at least no one's shooting at us. Okay, so we could go to the right. Again, we've got choices here. I'll need a key card. So we could go to the right. This is blocked, but I'm guessing that will <laughs> get us through it somehow. Uh, we could also go here to the left. There's a reward box waiting for the challenger who can figure out which tiles are safe to step on. Uh, okay, so there's nine tiles. There's also nine TVs. So I'm guessing... They correspond. So the ones that are lit... Okay. If I were to step on this tile here, that TV is lit, but then there's nowhere else for me to go. So I'm guessing that the ones that... the TVs that are dark represent... safe tiles. So I've got to go two up and one to the right. Unless there's a... Well, we're about to find out. Shouldn't have stepped there. Oh. What? Okay. Well, let's try this one then. Looks like she's got an idea. Okay, so I don't have to step on them in any particular order, it looks like. I thought maybe they would be... So far, so, so good. One, a safe tile. This one, and then the one that's missing is on the ground over there in the corner, and it's lit as well. Found a safe spot. Okay. Cool. And she manages to claim a reward, as seen on TV. Speed 2.0 for Tybalt. So an extra movement range. Right now we've got him with bonus damage. Or melee damage, and we're not using that much because we're keeping him at a distance to use his his stunner, his phasers here. Uh, we've got seven points now, which allows us to do want to do extreme sabotage, which is AOE, or disable an enemy robot, or we could go with hack, which allows us to hack a robot. So duration two turns we we would that would be very useful uh six turn cooldown this one is a three turn cooldown disable the target's weapons and abilities and cause aoe damage okay so it's not aoe sabotage or a aoe yeah, you, you pick a target, and then around them, others take damage. Okay. Or disable an enemy robot. So that would be... I'm going to go with that one. I was, I was leaning toward this one, but... That means you have to leave the drone monk alive. Okay, so what if you get into situations when you can't get to the drone monk? Well... Then you use this to disable the enemy robot. They have the same duration and the same cooldown. So really, this is just a hyped version of this. So yeah, we're going to go with that. And here we go. Let's go with Stomp. And then, if they leveled up, does she have enough points? No. Alrighty, and the fame chart, uh, we still don't have enough for this, so we got another nine nice points if we want to take that one. 
All right, well, uh, I misinterpreted the meaning, uh, but it only did me six points of damage, so that's okay. Because we've got a health station right here. That station must be a sight for sore eyes at this point. Okay, so now, really the only place we need to go is this direction. So, oh, that's a whole lot of spikes. hopefully this stops it for a second. Will that buy them enough time to get oh. through? Oh, spike trap! Oh, it's only the middle one. <laughs> I thought it was going to be all of them. Okay, so... Will that buy them enough time to get through? There Find we go. This, oh. This. Yeah, I will in a minute. What happened to this guy? Was this a contestant or a fan? Jesus. <laughs> this looks like you could get through here. Uh. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. Sign this. You're pushy. You were pretty cool in the past couple of episodes. I'm glad to hear that. I was kind of surprised when you didn't die in the first one, though. Cheers. Thanks for your support. Uh, let's go on to full surprises. Okay, that's 50% of autographs, too. Wow. Well, this guy didn't make it. But, he made a, uh, he disabled the trap for us. And we've got a... Oh, hey, camera drone, you're blocking my way here. Creating a safe passage. Okay, is there something back here? Oh, yeah. All right, so it sparks a bit before it goes off. Looting another reward box. RG32 Cassidy and 33 Brock. New weapons for Tybalt, but man, I'm really liking these. So this does, ooh, 16 to 18 damage plus poisoned for two turns. Ooh. That Sounds really nice, but gosh, I'm sure liking the stun weapon for him. Okay, here's another optional combat challenge. Healing up. Beyond that, we just head down that direction. I, I say we, I uh, say we do this. Fireworks factory friends. And it's the old fireworks factory. Will the challengers find some time in their busy schedule to investigate the former forced labor facility? <laughs> the former forced labor facility. Okay, we're dealing with everything here. Every enemy type. So. Let's just take a look at implants and make sure we've got the things we want. Brass knuckles. Definitely. Uh, this weapon. Definitely. The only thing is, this one does a lot of damage to, uh, to the muertas. But, we gotta remember, we've got him. And he can sabotage, which... Not a, it doesn't just disable weapons, it disables abilities, too. So, I can I can either stun a Muerta, I can sabotage a Muerta. So I've got other opportunities. Uh, and now we've got our boosted sabotage as well. So, I think we go with, with things as they are. And I like this flamethrower that he's got, too. It inflicts burning. That's really useful against the ogre. So, I think we're going to go as is. I'm not going to change any of their... Uh, I don't think I'm going to change their implants. He's got... Yeah, he's got the movement boost, so that, that'll help get him into positions to use those abilities. 
I can't spell forced labor without B L O D. The challengers will score a bonus if they can secure those crates of fireworks. Whether they succeed or fail, this could be an explosive side trip. Protect at least one firework crate? What? I'm guessing if you shoot them, they'll explode. Oh yeah, that's a big boom. Well, I mean, shoot. They do 15 damage, so it's not as much damage as an exploded, uh, explody barrel. Another one back here, another one back here, right underneath these fans. That would be funny if this one blows up and it just takes out all these fans. All right, got another one here. This one appears to be the director's control room. Drone Monk way back here. We've got an Ogre here. Jeez. Where the, the, it almost looks like they're all on the field. Uh, oh, there's a door here, so we will be joined by more. So, so alright, who do we want to focus on first? Um, Ronin has a ways to get to go before he gets to us. Probably a turn or two. We can take the Warden and put him right here and take out this scum. At least get him burning. What's this ability? Stomp. That's right. Okay. Uh... Absolutely brutal! Okay, so 12 damage, he'll take 9... I just need to do 9 more points of damage before the end of this turn, and then he'll die. So... Or I get Tybalt over here and stun him. And then he'll die the next turn, without having done any damage to me. The drone Monk is way over there, so we only got another scum here that actually... Let's see, only 55%? Why is that? Cover penalty. He's not behind cover. From her perspective. Wouldn't that be a flank? Alright. Tell you what. Clearly we need to move her. To here. Does that put her vulnerable to anybody else? Here's the ogre. Okay, maybe what we'll do is. I'm not gonna get a melee kill on him. I could make her unhittable. I could put her here. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to put her here. We're going to get 100% shot on this guy. That hit was savage! Okay, and now Tybalt. Let's get a body swap. I'm thinking with this guy. Because then the enemies that are back here hopefully will, will come up and take him out for us. Um, let's see, can he, can he shoot at anybody from here? Okay, he has no targets. Can he sabotage? Okay, he can sabotage this guy. Is that going to hit her? No, it's not. Okay. Will that cause these to blow up? No. Sabotage him. Or do we sabotage the other guy? Oh, he's the only one he can see. Oh, nuts. Okay, well... God, I kind of want to body swap with him then. He 
swaps his appearance with a defender. Okay, then, do we have to do anything with these? No, just keep them from being destroyed. Alright. Uh, drone Monk. Back in that corner. I don't think I need to worry about him right now. I think we'll just move. Oh, it's too bad. I can't shoot so, if I toss the decoy out here, I wonder if that will attract either of these other guys. Tibble sets up a twin to take some heat. Because it's out in the open. So, this guy will probably shoot at the drone. Or, pff, the drone. The warden. Laying in wait. Okay, here comes the attack drone. This is now a drone zone. Come on, shoot the guy with the... Who looks like a... Uh-oh. Woo! Kaboom. Well, something went boom! That's for <laughs> sure. Oh! They're... Where did that come from? They're, like, really focusing on the fireworks instead of... Okay. Um... He still looks like a baddie, so I'm hoping this ogre is going to go for him. So we need to get Scarlet maybe out of the way. This guy is going to burn to death next turn, so we don't need to worry about him anymore. Ronin isn't doing anything yet, so let's let's focus on maybe the ogre. God, I probably should have body swapped with him instead. Should have saved that. Well, I've got two turns. And we've still got Extreme Sabotage, so we could get up here and take out the drone. Except I kind of want the drone. I'm hoping the Ogre and the drone will go for this guy. Let's get... Let's get Tybalt. If I get him here, can he shoot through this conveyor? It doesn't look like it. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get Tybalt up here, behind this heavy cover. He is going to shoot the Ogre. Hopefully, stun it. 95% chance. To hit it. Got Not much Great. damage on that one. Okay. Not much damage, but the stun is what's important, because he is now out of commission for a turn. Now... Scarlet. Who is here? We can actually get. Actually, you know what? We'll make her unhittable right now. Just in case the drone goes for her instead of this other guy. And she will shoot at the ogre. Scarlet's not taking any risks. That Nicely wiped done. the grin off his face. Okay, so he's down almost two-thirds. I mean, one-third. The Warden now. I don't need to worry about this guy. Uh, this I do need to worry about, because they, de they seem to be focusing on the fireworks. So let's go for... He can actually hit the ogre from here? Really? Well, let's try it. 70%, not bad. And that will... That'll get him burning too. Ooh, got him! Alright, so he'll be down to 20. There we go. He'll take another 9. At the beginning of next turn, Sayonara, friends. Drone? Oh, man. They're they're not concerned at all. Whoa! Watch out! Setting up a perimeter. 
So it says protect at least one firework crate. I wonder if you get bonus fame or money by protecting more than one. They didn't see that coming. Hmm. Okay, well, body swap didn't work out real well again. Three enemies coming from there. Tybalt. Alright, he's going to be down to 11, so we need to do at least 11 points of damage. And then he'll burn to death next turn. So let's see. Ooh, you know what? She could get a melee kill on him. Let's do that. So let's reload. Restocking on available bullets. Melee kill. Uh, let's see. What do we? Where do we want? Oh, here's the drone monk. The drone monk is making an appearance. So melee kill. And down goes the scum. And then with her bonus action. Take a shot at the ogre. This will guarantee that he dies next turn. Although... We could also... No. We want the ogre. Ooh, okay. I can see his wounds closing! He's gonna die next turn. His next turn. So let's get the warden in here. Uh, does he have a shot on anybody? Oh, he needs to reload. Um, actually, maybe we make him easy target. He's easy target on somebody. Actually, you know what? He's got a... It looked like he had 100% chance to hit the... Home. No, okay. Um, we need to... Let's use easy target on... Oh, rats. Can only hit... Only see the ogre right now. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna walk him up here then. Tybalt now. I want him over here to hit the drone monk and get him stunned. Let's see. Or do I want him here? We're here. Here we go. Here's heavy cover. Uh, he won't be able to see the monk though. That's that's a drag. Uh, he could disable. That's what we'll do. All right, we'll do this. We'll get him to here, and then he'll use extreme sabotage. Actually, you know what? Oh, rats! <laughs> Not quite quite close enough, but still need to disable the drone. So. A nasty surprise! That's cool. That's a good ability. The ogre falls! I can't wait to use it to its fullest. Alright, Muerta, are Going you gonna heal somebody? Defense for a bit. Overwatch, really? Okay. Alright, drone monk. This is not going to uh, protect you. Did he shield himself? Or is he about to send that out to somebody? Some extra protection. Time to that drop the Ronin. Razor sharp. Let's see. We want... Give me the Warden. And let's stomp him right up to here. Because with his shooting, he can do up to 15 points of damage. Well, let's see, 14. Let's, let's guess on the low... No, I'm sorry, it's 12. I keep looking at the, at the enemy's stats. He can do 12 points of damage, plus the 9. So he can do 21 this turn. On the Ronin. So let's do... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Or melee. He can do 50... Oh, but that's not going to cause the burning. Just, just do it. Just do it. Talk about it. Do it. Here. And... Do you know what else do? Get them where at the burning. 
Oh, that's only a 42% chance to hit. Yeah, let's let's do this, guaranteed. Daka Daka. That's gotta hurt. Alright, that'll put him down to nine. Then we could come here. I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's why. Alright, let's put him here then. He's got ammo. And we're going to stun the Ronin. Who definitely took some okay. damage there. Two damage. Plus nine that he's about to take. Scarlet now. We can get her over here to do some stuff against the drone monk. So let's do an assault move to here. Wow. Okay, he's immobilized. That's good. Alright, so the Ronin now, unless the Muerta heals him, will be... Oh, here we go. That's gonna be how that's all. not all poison with her. That is a big toss. She can throw that a really long way. Something okay. explosive got triggered. Well, she sh he shot the fireworks and not her. That's interesting. Okay, so now Scarlet. We can reload with her. Uh, is this the only play? Ooh, we've got some vulnerability fireworks over here. We're down to six, too, so we've lost almost half of them. So he is no longer burning, so we're going to have to do more damage to this guy. All right, Scarlet, let's reload. A fresh clip slammed home. Melee on the drone monk. That drops the monk. And over for the drone monk. And the drone. Back to back kills for the challengers. And now we can bad shot on the Muerta. So I don't want to do that. We need to get people up to the other side of the arena here. So we're gonna run her. Up to here. All right, Tybalt. I need you. You gotta reload. Okay, so maybe what we do. Oh, that's the. It's the warden. I keep doing that. All right, so if I just shoot, let's reload with him. No, you know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? We need to make the Muerta an easy target. No way anyone's gonna miss that. And then let's see. Tibble needs to reload. More bullets at the ready. And then he's going to stun the Ronin. That was nothing to sneeze at. <clears throat> and now the Warden is going to, with his last action, shoot at her. Now then, he's got 100% chance hit? to hit her. She might heal the Ronin again. Nope, she's running. Okay. So she is neutralized because she just ran away. She didn't do anything. Didn't blow up any crates. And she's only got five health left, so she's going to burn to death next turn. An ogre, a drone monk, and a Ronin just joined the party. Wow. Two drone monks. Nope, just one. One drone monk. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Uh, Warden. Let's...
have you come to here. Oh, you need to reload. What if we stomp up to here? That would stun the Ronin if I walk him up to here. Unless, for some reason, this protects him. This wall protects him. That would be a drag. Uh, well, let's find out. Let's see how these abilities work. Alright, stomp. Everyone in the area. Is that everyone in this... Oh! Oh, I could do this. I could stomp right here, and that'll get the ogre and the ronin. Holy crud! It's a move and a stomp. It's not. Not sure he knows what hit it. It's not that you have to move somewhere and then stomp. You can do both. All right, so Tybalt now. We can body swap with the ogre. So now the ogre looks well, like Tibble. That's gonna make things interesting. Hopefully that will make the drone monk go for the ogre. And we're going to stun the Ronin again. Feeling the pain. Okay, now Scarlet. She could actually get a melee kill on, on him right now. So let's do that. And down goes the Ronin! And with her extra action, can she actually shoot at anybody? She can't. Okay, so we're gonna instead, we're gonna get her up to here behind this heavy cover. Which does burn to death. There you go. And it's curtains for the which does put her vulnerable. The Drone Monk might go for her. Nope. Calling out the Attack Drone. So the Attack Drone hopefully oh, will go for the Ogre. There's a drone! Oh, nope. It's going to shoot the fireworks. Alright then. A lot of sound and fury, but that's about it. Five more. Okay, so he's not stunned anymore. He's not stunned anymore. He does, he does still look like Tybalt for a second, so we need, let's see, Warden. You're going to reload. He loads a fresh clip. And you're going to start in on the Ogre. Get him burning. Tybalt. I need you in a position to be able to hit the Ronin and... Get him. Or do we sabotage? Nah, because the warden is in the area now. I don't. I don't want to. Okay, that's the risk to this ability. I think. Is that this? Oh, he's actually protected by this. Okay, well that's good. So we could actually do this. Okay, let's reload first. Starting with a fresh clip. And then we'll go extreme sabotage on the ogre. Which is actually gonna do a lot of damage to him because it's gonna it's gonna blow up that fireworks crate. Oh. But we've the got stops the four left. All right, so he can't recharge because he's sabotaged right now. So we're going to next have Scarlet shoot at him. That'll drop him. A solid hit. Under nine. Now he's going to burn next turn. Adios. Scratch one ogre. Now we've got the drone monk and the attack drone. I can't believe she's still standing after that. Tiny drones to the rescue. Okay. 
He readies his sword. All right, Ronin. Let's have Tybalt stun you. No targets. What? He's right there. He's hurting for certain. All right, I want to get rid of the drone monk next. So let's have... Oh, this wall is blocking the warden. Oh, that's, that's a drag. Okay, then let's have him shoot at the ronin then. So we'll bring him to here. We'll get the ronin burning at least. So he'll be, he's gone, because he's going to take 18 points of damage over the next two turns. And so now Scarlet can do an assault move. Get herself over here. That's not any kind of cover there, I guess. This table. It looks like it should be low cover, but maybe it's not. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it now. Ooh, this will almost kill him. Doggone. And this is this is all I've got. Is there anything else I can do? She's severely injured, so let's get her medicated first before we do this. Do we want to go Overwatch? No, because this guy's totally able to target her. Alright, in that case... Let's melee this guy. Not messing around! Two hit points left. Okay. She's gonna take another hit. That's a game changer. And the drone monk, what's he gonna do? Right on target. Burn to death. What? Oh, he already took burn damage. That was his turn. Was was shading. Okay, so Scarlet now melee. Melee on this guy. Not necessary because he would have died anyway, but. A trilogy of terror. You know. You get the triple kill bonus, so. Although I think I might have anyway. And the Ooh, last defender's time card has been punched. <laughs> okay, protect at least one firework crate. So we got 181 fame. So it does seem like you would get a few fame points her crate, so we got some. Uh, we also got a BK musket for the warden. There are our battle highlights. And we're creeping up towards Superstar, so we probably need to make our fame bonus choice pretty soon here. After showing off some fireworks of their own, the challengers make it out of the factory. Okay, so that is two of three tactical arenas now. And let's head... Actually, first let's check... Let's go with... Ooh, what? Uh, snapshot? Yeah, let's save for the next... Uh, level up because then we can grab this actually you know what i think we're getting three points per level up so if i grab this now how many do i have four okay never mind never mind yeah we're gonna we're gonna save it tibble 
we're gonna save. Let's check this weapon. The BK musket, 30 points of damage. That's enough to kill the, the new leveled up scums. Uh, it's only got one ammo. It's got shorter range and you lose the burning though. So I think the burning is so helpful. So we're gonna hang on to that. Uh, let's see. Still, still nine and eight short to be able to grab these. So uh, regenerate HP during exploration. See, if I've been goofing on the traps enough that I feel like that would. <laughs> I might want to just grab this because I'm not buying stuff that much. So I don't know that increasing my cash rewards or saving money on guns that I'm not buying is all that necessary. Because I feel like the guns I'm earning as rewards, because I do all of these optional challenges. So uh, I guess if you were skipping them, then maybe having money to buy weapons that you're not earning for from rewards is. Oh, and the challengers are faced with a huge gap, and now with flames blocking their way back, Scarlet uh -oh. and Tibble will have to find some means of crossing that pit. Okay. Let's see. What? Okay, so we've got a scissor lift here. We've got. I would not want to walk into that <laughs> wall of fire. No. There's a button on the other side, though, on the right there. Is my head blocking it? I don't know. Um. Let's see. Let's see what this pad does. That opened up a path through the flames. We're gonna have to split up. That's one obstacle taken care of. There we How go. How many more to go? That turns this off. This is blocked. Maybe this turns off. Okay, that lowers the scissor lift. So if I step off this, that's going to turn these flames on again. Which is okay, because I don't need to go there anymore. Now, he's down here. Okay, that that took care off. of the forge field. Uh-oh. Interesting. All right, so we need him back here. And then she, no. See that. Okay, that turns that off. But we need the scissor lift back up. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, get her over here. Hit this button that ah, raises the some scissor clever lift. teamwork there. Then we get him over here. Then she has to get down there somehow. So that drops that.
That doesn't help me at all. Why do I feel like a complete flipping idiot here? Okay. <laughs> just gotta raise the thing again, Dan. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta use the button. Looks oh, like boy. that opened the path to the key card. Meet you at the door. What a goober. Oh, well, locked her in again. So here we go. Oh, straight to the burn unit. Doggone it. When you said it opened the path, I thought, oh, okay, all the. Oh, I'm going to have to get this back down. And then he's got to get onto it, and then we got to raise it again. Okay. All right, I'm done being an idiot. And the way to the key card is finally clear. They really like to make us work for it, huh? Dressing those wounds. Yeah. This challenge really highlights the fact that it takes more than just brawn to make it through homicidal all-stars. Oh, look at that. There's a spike trap right here, but this thing blocks you. So if you're not paying attention as you're coming up the stairs. All right, we'll go around. Heck yeah. You're like a breath of fresh air for the show. Thanks, dude. Nice of you to say. Even if you don't make it, the fandom will remember you. Thanks for being, thank you for being a fan. I'll give you uh, give the show the reboot it needs. Can't wait to see it. All right, got another contestant didn't make it. How are we doing on our optionals? One more arena, nine more loot boxes, and two autographs. Where are all of these loot boxes? This looks suspicious. Let's stand on it. Okay, it's nothing. And that does it! She's got the reward box! Poison grenade and insta shield. Alrighty. Okay, so we're back here. We've made a complete loop. We are at full health. And with that, the contestants prepare to enter the next area. But what challenges await them there? I don't know, but we will find out next episode. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Shogunners. Hit thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. But beyond that, have a great day. Really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. See you next time. Yeah.